Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be looking at the PAW6 inlet test case from the 6th AIAA Aerodynamics Workshop. In our previous video, we showed you how to mesh the bleed holes along with the plenum chambers. In this video, which is part 2 of a multiple part series, we will be showing you how to mesh the vortex generators. There are 3 vortex generators in the center body and 4 on the cowl. We will first create a mesh around one vortex generator which can then be copied onto the other vortex generators. We will then link all the disjoint topologies together. Topology around the vortex generator. We shall create a simple topology around the vortex generator using the box macro option. Using the topology option creates bounding planes which are automatically assigned to the topology. Under resize, we select fit current surface after making the vortex generator the current surface. Subsequently, click on enlarge 100% and then click on apply. Add inserts along the length and breadth as shown. Since there should be no blocks inside the vortex generator surface, we remove the edge as shown here. The box macro automatically assigns the faces to the planes it creates. However, since the lower layer of the topology should lie on the center body, we delete that plane and instead assign those faces to the center body surface. We now use the generic tool to assign the corners around the vortex generator to it. We take the corners assigned to it and do a simple boundary wrap. Nesting. Nesting enables us to create a local refinement region near the vortex generator which does not propagate to the external domain, thus keeping the cell count low. Take the faces assigned to the vortex generator in one group and the faces which are assigned to the surface before the O-grid was created in another group. Go to Nest, Area. The high density group should have the corner group with the faces assigned to the vortex generator, whereas the low density group should have the outer layer of faces. Select a refinement level of 1. Clicking on Apply creates the nested topology as shown. Now we modify the densities as seen. The preview option comes in handy while doing this. Running G-grid gives us a good grid. We see that the nesting has added additional block faces to the airfoil, which does not propagate outwards, thus increasing the cell resolution close to the airfoil, creating the full topology. Transform the wireframe without the bounding planes to the other vortex generators using the transform tool or by manually moving the entire corner group. Once the blocking is copied, the next step is to link the vortex generators located on the center body first. We take the sheet of faces to be linked in separate corner groups and link them using the link option so that the blocks are created between the vortex generators. Continue the linking for the four cowl vortex generators as well. To link the vortex generators on the cowl and center body, we first need to make some modifications. 
Since there are three vortex generators on the center body and four on the cowl, the number of faces won't match and thus the two layers can't be linked. To alleviate this issue, we need to add inserts on the center body topology such that the number of corners match the cowl. Each vortex generator has four blocks along its width. Thus we need to add four blocks, five inserts, along the width of the center body topology. We add two inserts between one pair of vortex generators, two on the other pair of vortex generators, and one insert in the middle of the central center body vortex generator. Now grouping the lower faces from the cowl and upper faces from the center body in separate corner groups, we see that they have an equal number of faces. We link them using the link tool. Wrapping to the boundaries. Now we use the exterior faces of the new topology to wrap it and assign them to the boundary planes. Checking the validity, we see that we have a valid topology. Running Gigrid for a few thousand sweeps gives us a good grid. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave us a like and subscribe to the channel for new videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it below. If you want us to post tutorials on any specific geometries, you could write to us on support at gridpro.com. Follow us on our social media pages. Links are posted in the description.